Right now, the Lunar South Pole showdown is in its final leg. Exactly. Russia's Luna 25 has sent back first pictures of the moon from space. Meanwhile, India's Chandrayaan 3 will be executing a crucial maneuver in a short while from now. And both New Delhi and Moscow are in a historic space race to reach the lunar south pole first. India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft, it will undergo a major operation in just a short while from now. The Indian Space Research Organization, it will conduct a critical maneuver to lower the spacecraft's orbit to 100 km above the moon's surface. This maneuver, known as orbit circularization, involves using the spacecraft's engines slow itself down and push itself into a lower orbit that is perfectly circular. This is a crucial step in the mission's ultimate goal making, a soft landing near the lunar south pole. Now, and exactly a week from now, on the morning of the 23rd of August, Chandrayaan-3 is expected to attempt a soft landing on the lunar south pole, a region believed to hold potential for new scientific discoveries. And if successful, India will become the fourth nation to achieve a soft landing on the moon following Russia, the United States and China. And also for more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Chennai. Listen in. Any moment from now, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is expected to perform a very crucial maneuver. This is known as orbit circularization. For the last 10 days, the spacecraft has been circling the moon in an uneven orbit or what is known as an elliptical orbit. But now after this maneuver, the spacecraft will be put into a circular orbit, which means it is at any given point in time equidistant from the surface of the moon. So this new orbit will be 100 km by 100 km. So this orbit is something that the craft will achieve. After slowing itself down, the craft will perform the retro firing of its engines. It will slow itself down and thereafter lower its orbit to this 100 by 100 kilometer orbit. This is when a crucial phase of the mission begins. For almost the last 30 days, ISRO hasn't tested several electronics and systems and sensors that are on board the spacecraft. So these are the systems that will also help in lunar landing. So once the spacecraft reaches this 100 by 100 kilometer orbit, the craft will test these sensors which are crucial systems including the four engines that will help the spacecraft land safely and softly on the moon. So once these tests are successful, the spacecraft will then separate into two parts. One will be the propulsion module which will continue to circle the moon and the other will be the lander module which will head towards the lunar surface. Thereafter, by 17th of August, the lander module will head towards the lunar surface and lower its orbit to a 100 by 30 kilometer orbit and thereafter the preparation for the lunar landing will begin. The lunar landing is scheduled to take place on the 23rd of August and the lunar landing itself is a very complex procedure that will involve everything from hard braking or rough braking to attitude hold and soft braking. Eventually, the spacecraft will have to slow itself down to several kilometers per second speed and then come down to finally one or two meters per second, which is the ideal landing speed and then touch down safely near the lunar south pole. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.